Hello and welcome to the episode 331 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The Beatles recording their first BBC session, the release of I Feel Fine and another Lennon comedy sketch are among the things we'll be talking about today. On the 27th of November 1960, Pete Best, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and Stu Sutcliffe or what remained of the Beatles after George Harrison had been deported from West Germany, performed at the Kaiser Keller for the continuation of their residence in Hamburg. If you want more details about what had happened to George, please check episode 325. In 1961, the Beatles, now featuring John Lennon and George Harrison on guitar, Paul McCartney on bass and Pete Best on drums, performed another two-hour lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, their 58. Moving on to 1962, on this date, Beatles manager Brian Epstein received a non-committal letter from the BBC as a result of the Beatles' audition on the 23rd of November. Evidently, the lads hadn't made a strong enough impression on BBC Light programme auditioner Ronnie Lane to prompt him to book a filming of the band for a TV appearance. The setback was countered by another achievement for the up-and-coming band. On this same day, the Beatles were in London at the BBC Paris studio to record their first-ever BBC radio session. The recording was aired during a show called The Talent Spot on the 4th of December, between 5 and 5.29 pm. The rehearsal started at 4 pm and the band recorded their bit in front of a live audience from 7 to 8 pm. The Beatles performed Love Me Do, P.S. I Love You and Twist and Shout. One more live performance on this day in 1963. At night, the Fabs were at the Rialto Theatre in York for the continuation of their autumn tour. On the 27th of November 1964, I Feel Fine was released as the eighth Beatles single in UK. The song entered the charts on the following week and peaked on the number one spot the week afterwards spending five weeks there and eight more weeks in the top positions of the UK singles chart. Two years later, in 1966, John Lennon was involved in the filming of more comedy sketches for BBC Two's Not Only But Also, a new comedy series with Peter Cook and Dudley Muir. He was then the smartly dressed doorman at the Ad Love Night Club, the club was in the man's lavatory in the Broadwick Street Underground Station in London. The exteriors of the sketch were filmed today on location, while the interiors were filmed later on at the BBC Television Centre, without John. The sketch was aired on the 26th of December between 9 and 9.50 pm. In 1967, as usual of late, the Magical Mystery Tour footage was being edited at Norman's Film Productions. And as usual for this podcast, I'll ask you to visit www.simonmas.com support. On that page, you'll find a list of things that you can do to help me to produce more and better music-related content for you and an explanation of how you can acquire the deluxe version of What A Fab Day with hours of extra content. Thank you for taking the time to checking that out and help me. On the 27th of November 1969, John Lennon gave an interview to journalist Ken Zelig about the restitution of his MBE medal to the Queen two days earlier. The interview took place at John's house, Dittenhurst Park. John explained that he had been a hypocrite to accept the medal to begin with, but he was talked into it by Beatles manager Brian Epstein and other people close to the band. 
he then took the opportunity to talk about his and Yoko Ono's peace campaign. The interview was closed with John and Yoko reminiscing about some of the Christmas presents they had received in their childhood years. John claimed that receiving a harmonica one Christmas was one of the great moments of his life. Let's close the episode on this note. Tomorrow, we'll have another Lennon interview, this time in 1964. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.